I know the weekend we've got some wet weather, but uh, throwing together a little forecast parade graphic for you for Saturday for the uh, Yukon Huskies nice. in Hartford. Uh, we could start the day very early with some lingering spotty showers from Friday, but otherwise temperatures in the 50s. It's going to be a bit breezy. We could see some intervals of sun, of course. We'll hope to make this uh, forecast a little bit uh, more appealing, but still not bad <laughs> no, as not we bad head through all. the coming days. But certainly what we're not going to have over the weekend, the warmth that we currently are enjoying with highs between 70 and 75 uh, today for many communities inland, at least up to 76 at Bradley Airport in Hartford and quite a range along the shoreline thanks to a sea breeze. 60 in Groton right now, 69 in New Haven. Compared to this time yesterday, we're up 5, 10. Uh, at one point last hour, up 15 degrees compared to 24 hours ago. We're all enjoying a lot of blue sky and sunshine. There's our view from Torrington over the Litchfield Hills. Of course, sunshine uh, brightly there on, um, on Gamble Pavilion in Yukon there at the Yukon campus and store. So beautiful all across Connecticut. Some scattered high clouds as a view from our ICAM and Old Saybrook uh, there along the Connecticut coastline. So we do have those clouds streaming in from southwest to northeast. We remain dry this evening, but we will see that cloud cover increase through the overnight hours. Looking at the big picture, we've got an air flow pressure across the Great Lakes, a slow moving cold front heading in our direction. At the same time, high pressure across eastern Canada helping to create more of an onshore flow for tomorrow. So between that and increasing cloud cover, temps a little bit cooler, but still running above average for this time of year for our Wednesday. So overnight tonight will bottom out in the low and mid 40s, another mild night. And throughout the day tomorrow, you can see the spotty nature of the shower. So certainly not raining all day long, but you really won't need the sunglasses tomorrow. You'll want that umbrella on hand. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s and low 60s inland, uh, mid 50s along the 95 corridor. And as we head into Thursday, uh, we've got a warm front that's going to be pushing through a couple showers. The, the main event for Thursday will be coming later in the day and at night. Uh, initially, Friday morning winds up out of the south and then switching direction behind this cold front uh, with the rain tapering off as we head toward the evening hour. So on the excessive rain outlook, that level two risk that just two days ago included a good part of Connecticut uh, as of yesterday and as of today off to our west. So certainly uh, some good news on that front. So Again, we could see an inch or two of rain here in Connecticut from late Thursday into Friday. Winds at the same time could gust over 30 miles an hour. Uh, so that could have an impact on traveling, poor visibility also with the amount of rain that could come down, uh, a renewed concern for some poor drainage or basement flooding. Again, as we head into Saturday morning, some improvement as the day progresses, maybe a lingering shower early with the temperatures warming into the low 50s. Mid and upper 50s by Saturday afternoon. Sunday, we'll see increasing cloudiness with perhaps some late day showers. It'll be a bit mild compared to Saturday. Highs back between 60 and 65. And then as we head into early next week, trending back well into the mid-60s on Monday, perhaps a little bit cooler, but uh, looking dry and bright to start next week. Shoreline highs this weekend, upper 50s on Saturday, low 60s by Sunday. Okay, Mark.